What's going on YouTube, GSN right here. Today we're discussing a brand new shortcut that allows you to browse the file system and allows you to do some more things without being jailbroken, like seeing device report for characteristics that are not available in the settings and so on. So let's take a look at it. It's accessible version five that has been released. It's a brand new version of it. It's been rebuilt from the ground up and it supports iOS 15.0 all the way up to iOS 18.3.2. So let's take a look. Now it's available here on GitHub. It's completely completely open source. So it's a shortcut, it's not an IPA file, you don't have to sign it, you can just install it in the shortcuts application and I'm going to demonstrate it in a couple of seconds. But here on the changelog it says that it's a full rewrite, all of your tools are now in closer reach and now fully wrapped in vCards for more polished and intuitive experience, a new file system browser experience and device reports based on the mobile guest host. Now let's take a look at it, let's see what it can do. As I said it's available over here, it doesn't require a jailbreak. Now I have a device in here. So I'm going to go ahead over here on shortcuts and I already have it installed. It's accessible version 5.0 and if you tap on it, it should show something like this. And these are the options available inside of it. Now, as I said, I'm not jailbroken, so all you can see here is available for you even if you don't have a jailbreak. Now there's the browse file system which has to be the most important feature. You can also extract the system applications, but you cannot extract the mobile applications, so no user installed stuff. So I'm gonna go here to browse file system, and once you tap on something, it takes a while to load, but then it gives you the folders, for example, like applications over here, in developer, private system, and stuff like that. And um, if you tap on one, you, you get a couple of options like subdirectory, previous directory, export file, open with, and get details. If you tap get details, it gives you file info, or file path. You also have the option to open with and it gives you the option to quick look, text viewer, plist viewer, so if you want to view a property list file or the default app for that. Essentially it's like very light version of Falza if you want, but very very light version of Falza jailed more likely. Another option in here is the device report that gives you some information that is not available in settings. Unfortunately, in my case for iOS 16, that does not seem to work. Anyway, if you are using Accessible, a new version is out, definitely check it out. It's been rebuilt. It does work a little bit better. I imagine it works better on newer versions. This one is on iOS 16, so some things are glitching out by the looks of it. I'm gonna contact the developer later and tell them about it. But anyway, you can find it down below. This video was brought to you by Flexstore. If you're looking for no computer versions of your favorite jailbreak, like on Cover, or dopamine or I don't know, even tools like Misaka, you can definitely check them out in the link below. They have pre-signed jailbreaks and you can get them with their certificate. You don't have to worry about re-signing every seven days. Yeah, definitely check it out. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.